All right, and here's the last match for week one of Monday Night Raw. It's John Cena and Rey Mysterio versus Brock Lesnar, the next big thing, or he was the next big thing. And CM Punk, the best in the world at giving CPR to Paul Heyman. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that segment was... That really got a bit, uh, you know, uncomfortable after a while. I hope, you know, Jerry Lawler was okay with it. But anyway, here we have John Cena, the most loved and hated man in the WWE right now. Let's go Cena. Cena sucks. You know the whole shebang. And, uh, you know, I might as well just take this time to, you know, talk about a few times I've actually been to a WWE event. Even though it wasn't televised, it was still fun to go to. They were mostly in the California area. But, um, yeah, my very first WWE event I went to, it was the one of the SmackDown events that happened just after John Cena won the WWE Championship from JBL. So, it was John Cena in a handicap match versus JBL and Orlando Jordan. Yeah, Orlando Jordan, the, you know, bye guy, I guess you could call him. And uh, anyway, you know, they were in the ring, and then all of a sudden, I heard a certain pair of bagpipes, and who would it be than Rowdy Roddy Piper? Oh yeah, Rowdy Roddy Piper, just coming to this little event in a little dinky town, but, I mean, that was one of the best parts of the whole thing, and, um, of course, I will always remember when uh, John Cena grabbed a fan sign and said that Orlando Jordan plus water equals... Chia pet. Ch -ch 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 Chia. And then John Cena just made a little peacock gesture like, C -c 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 And, um, I was also very lucky to, um, be at an event where it happened just a few weeks before Eddie Guerrero, unfortunately, you know, passed away from, you know, his heart problems. And, uh, yeah, it was just so weird to, you know, see him, you know, wrestle with Batista and Randy Orton just before that happened, so I guess I was pretty lucky to have seen him wrestle at least once in my life. And, of course, you know, a lot of the fans miss Eddie. We wish he was alive today, and, we well, he's just, you know, up at the pearly gates riding his low riders and just, you know, having such a good time. We love you, Eddie. Okay, now, uh... <laughs> Back to more lighter side of things. Here we have Brock Lesnar. The guy who can botch a shooting star press like nobody else. Oh man, I I and I was even more surprised that he even landed it. And thankfully that's, you know, up somewhere on YouTube. Thank thank the heavens. <laughs> and it's just one of those Nice little things in life when you can see a 300 pound man just, you know, do a flip in the air like that. Okay, and last, but certainly not least, our WWE Champion, the best in the world, CM Punk. And he is ready to rock and roll in this bad boy right here, teaming up with his fellow Heyman cohort, Brock Lesnar. Which, I don't know why they haven't you know, put them together yet in the actual storyline, but who knows? Maybe Brock Lesnar will fuck up Ryback. I kind of hope so. And things are already getting off heatedly with John Cena and Brock Lesnar exchanging move for move. Oh, it's turned into a fist fight already. Oh, just like Extreme Rules. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. The, the torture rack. Brock, you, come on. You're an amateur wrestler. You should know to wear down somebody first. <laughs> hey! Good job, Mysterio. Okay, get him! Oh, come on. <laughs> you should have seen him come in before you did that. Or maybe I should have. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Yes, he's a freak of science, all right. I mean, seriously. <laughs> if anyone's seen his stuff from when he f had his first run in WWE, it was some crazy shit. 
and it's kind of weird to see that Sheamus is the second fat second guy to win the WWE Championship the fastest. Brock Lesnar obviously was the first. Uh oh, uh oh, Brock's looking at him. He might want to eat him. Oh, but Ray he counters. Oh, what's Mysterio doing? Oh, what? Uh, defying the laws of physics with that moonsault. I mean, <laughs> those legs didn't look like they were on the ropes correctly. Ooh, D D T. Yes, D D T, not Titty T, Tyler. Oh yeah, and um, for anyone who was wondering what was up with the cell phone ringing, that was Tyler, one of my friends, being a jackass because he has nothing better to do. Oh wait, oh wait, man. what? Oh my God, John Cena, he just, oh my God, he, he made a heel turn. Oh my God, John Cena is a heel. For the love of God, what is all? What's wrong with this world right now? It's official. The apocalypse is starting. The, all of the ocean is turning blood red. Pigs are learning how to fly. Hell is frozen over and oh my god! Oh, Rey Mysterio, he doesn't have a chance now. I, oh god, John Cena, what the hell has he done? Little kids are crying in their pants. Parents are... Calling the WWE, <laughs> canceling events where John Cena is showing up. I mean, oh my God, how could he ditch Rey Mysterio like that and betray the WWE universe? Oh sweet Jesus! Oh, I'm not sure if Rey can pull this off. You know, being 175 against, you know, a guy. Who a pair of guys that combined for probably 430 pounds. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, a hurricane, but I'm not sure if that'll be enough. <laughs> Especially against a guy like Brock Lesnar. I, I am still in shock here. John Cena betraying Rey Mysterio. I mean, what is the reasoning behind that? Oh my god. Oh, belly to belly suplex by Brock Lesnar. Oh god. This is probably the best episode already. And it's only episode one of Monday Night Raw. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Brock Lesnar just bringing the pain. Just like the video Smackdown video game where he was the cover boy of. Oh God! Oh man! And now here comes CM Punk, who he and Rey Mysterio have had a great rivalry in uh, 2010, which led to CM Punk getting his head shaved. Which I, yeah, I don't. The bald look doesn't really work for Punk. I really just prefer he has some hair. Um, I I still. <laughs> I'm sorry, I still can't get over that. John Cena, the goody two-shoes of the WWE, just deciding to say fuck you to Rey Mysterio and ditch him. I mean, this has probably been a long time coming, but... Oh my god, what is going to happen next with John Cena? Is he just going to stop granting wishes altogether? Is he just going to, you know, not be at NASCAR events or NFL events or... Basketball games or it, what? <laughs> he certainly can't be a spokesman when he's just, you know, beating up people for no reason. Oh, Rey Mysterio, he definitely has an uphill battle ahead of him. Yes, he did. Uh oh. This doesn't look good for Rey. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god! No! What's going on? Uh oh, no! Arm drag! Oh god. <laughs> and CM Punk's back in, but Rey Mysterio's not gonna let him put in any offense at all. He's gotta play on the pressure, being, you know, a one man team. Oh 
Oof, dragon screw.